Points, Lines and Planes by Justin de Souza. The learning objectives of this lesson are to identify points, lines and planes and to identify intersections of lines and planes. The keywords in this lesson are point, line, plane, space, collinear, coplanar, intersection. What exactly is points, lines and planes? I'm sure you have seen a point is something like this, a line is something like this and a plane can be anything. Now, if you're looking at the dimensions, this is a zero dimensional object. It's just a point. There's just only space over here, in, just a point in a space. That's it, nothing else. But this as a dimension, the length dimension, it is one dimension, you can say. It's basically something like this, up, down or anything. It's a one dimension. Whereas this is a two dimensional object. This is space. You have length and width. Now here there is only length, there is no width or thickness, whereas over here there is width and length. Now a three dimension would be something like this, isn't it? Now we are not dealing with that. Okay, that's a, not a great drawing, but you know, you can get it. Uh, it's a cube, you know, basically. You can see the length, width, uh, height and the width. So there are three dimensions. So that is a basic thing. Now, we don't generally have a definition as such. Definition just basic understanding. Let's look into, see over here. Point is just a location. If you understand, it's more than enough. It's neither shape nor size. Okay, this is a point. A line, for example, it is made up of points, many points, at least two points, and it doesn't have thickness. It's just the length. Here, this is a plane which needs at least three points to be made. So now, based on the points, you can define them. More than, at least two points. You can have three points, four points, any number of points. We have minimum three points. But they must, they must not be collinear. Here, if they are all in a straight line, then it's just a line. If it's a plane, then it should not be collinear. And now, the denotion of writing. Now, imagine this is the line PQ. So you can write it as line. So line PQ or we just draw a line. Really, it's two dashes. But if you just do PQ line, that's enough. This is a line segment. So that's how we denote it. A point, generally we write point and write the point name. That is A. Even plane, it's the same thing. P plane. And then you must at least tell three points, which are, uh, okay, two can be collinear, but not all three. At least one must be non-collinear in the sense not in a straight line, okay? Now this and this, we can draw a straight line. So this is non-collinear to it. So we can write it over here, B, C, D. So this is the basic stuff. Now we here we have uh, space. Space is basically boundless three-dimensional three set of all points. Now space is something that contains lines planes and everything you can have different planes altogether like non non coplane and stuff now we hear there is one thing if any points are in the same line they are called collinear collinear in the same line whereas if they are non collinear that means they are not in the same line see now for example this point d and this line ac this point d is non collinear because it's not within the line if i draw a point say over here x this is collinear. Y is non-collinear. Now, same thing with the planes. If all the points are in the same plane, then they are coplanar. But if there's another plane altogether over here, and this is one more point, say X over here. Now, the point X is non-coplanar. That's how we can differentiate it. And over here, we have the first problem. We are to use the figure and name each thing what they ask us. A line containing point Q. Over here, the point Q is in this line. You can call it as line C or line PQ, anything. So the line C is the answer. It's very simple. And uh, using the choice provide. Okay, additional name for line C. Instead of line C, what can you call it? You can. You need at least two points to name the line. See now, I can use this and this name, PR. That's one line. Or you can just call it as TQ. You know. TQ is one more point, uh, one uh, one more name for this line. You can also call this as RQ, RQ line, or you can even denote it as QR, QT, and 
uh, uh, RT. You know, they're just, you know, telling the other point first and the second, uh, first point second. Just inverting them. Okay, that is done over here. See, you can see this is the answer. TR is correct, but they have also told RT. That is also a possible uh, line, name for the line. So TQ and QT and RQ and QR. So these are the answers. Line C is the correct answer, which contains Q, and these are the other names to denote the line Q, line C, sorry, not Q, line C. The second question is, a plane containing point S and the point T, which is the plane that, that has this and this? So it's the plane A over here, it's written, right? The plane A. Or you can write it in other names, that is S, T, R, plane S, T, R, or S, T, Q, or you can also tell QT, you know, you can just keep on giving plenty of names. I hope you get it. Any three, two collinear and one must be at least non-collinear. So it's the plane A, that's the most important thing. And you can, now let's see which is the correct name for this plane A. Q, oh, is over here, S, T, yes, that's correct, one answer. Let's check with the other answer, S, T, V is non planar Why? Because this point, point is not in the plane. So you can't tell STV. Uh, this is plane A cannot be denoted by STV. I can see V over here and over here. So these are not the answers. If V is there, obviously it cannot be the answer. Only Q, ST is the answer. Now we have to name the geometric terms modeled by each of these objects over here. You can see... Uh, first of all, a book is a plane, isn't it? So you can tell J, K, L is a plane or N, J, K or J, K, N, anything. This is a plane and you can see this is a line, this is a line, this is a line. Over here also there is a line. There are plenty of things, you know, you can model. A line N, J, J, K, K, L or L, K, P, Q or P, R or R, Q. These are all lines. And look at this point. This is point, this is point, 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 point. It's a very, very basic question. There's nothing much in this. Okay, the object notebook models a plane. Yes, absolutely. JKL is denoted by the edge of the notebooks. Yeah, sorry, notebook, one notebook. All the edges are lines. Yes, JK is a line, LK is line. And the quarter over here, you can see this is a quarter. That's a coin. It is a point. M is a point. Now you can see the point N, L, K are coplanar. Why? Because they are all in the same plane. Absolutely. You can't tell point M it's coplanar. No, it's away. So, and lastly, P, Q, R, C. Now this P, Q, R is, or P, R, Q is collinear because they are all in the same line. So this is how we can solve it up. Now we go to the intersection of lines and planes. But before that, a quick reminder. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. It would mean so much to me. And also do like and share my videos with your friends who might benefit from it. Now coming back over here, the intersection of two or more geometric figures can happen in a certain way. I will just draw a line. So a line over here and a line over here. When two lines intersect, it is at a point. Whereas Planes, imagine there are two planes intersecting, okay, this and this intersecting over here. That intersection can be a line and there can be intersection of a plane and a line as well. So these are some basic things. Now we will see. Now just remember, when a line touches another line, it is always a point. When two planes, it will be a line over here altogether. In this example, we have been told to draw all these points in a coordinate plane. So let's use a coordinate plane. Let's try drawing it up. So over here we need to draw and label it. The line QR and ST intersect at a point U. And they have given the, all the coordinate points of Q, R, S, T. So what we'll do is first we'll just start pointing them out. Q is at minus 3. That is, it's always given as X and Y. X is minus 3 and Y is minus 2. So somewhere over here. That's one point. 4 and 1. 4 and 1. That's over here. So let me just mark the points as I... Uh, let me write, label the points as I mark it. Q, R. Now the point S. S is at 2 and 3. So it's again X, comma Y. So 2 and 3. Now lastly we have T. 
minus 1 and minus 5 somewhere over here. These are the four points. And they have told line QR. So join Q and R like this. You need to draw it straight. You put a ruler over here and join these two points. You will get something like this. Okay. Now, this is not accurate, but your intersection point is somewhere over here or down or up. I'm not so sure because, you know, mine is not so accurate lines. That is the intersection at U. So, please be very accurate, draw very accurate lines and check the intersection point. Now, there is one more thing. There is a point V which is coplanar. It's in the same coordinate plane, but it is not collinear. So, it can't be anywhere. See, this is T, this is S. It can't be on this line or this line. You can choose anywhere, literally anywhere, and that can be the uh, sample answer. I will choose over here. This is V. It is X is 3, comma minus 2. This is a point V. That's more than enough. Now you can see the real answer. Here they have chosen here. It's fine. As long as it's in the same plane and it is not in any line. I mean, it's not collinear. It's fine. So these are the answers. Now the real intersection is somewhere over here, guys. Why? Because if you draw straight lines connecting in a ruler and over here as well, see this would have come a little down, will be somewhere over here. Okay, so that's the answer. And how would you do it is basically, you know, you have to just graph, just now I did in the coordinate plane, graph those two points and then find the intersection point and then finally choose any point for V, any point other than these two lines. That's it. I think this is very simple. Yes, it's really very simple. There's nothing much. And this answer over here, minus 2, comma 3, and what we had got over here, 3, comma minus 2, it's not at all, you know, wrong. You can choose any answer. You can even choose 0, comma 0. It's fine. It's not collinear. That's the only thing. Now, you have a check problem. You can read through it and do it. Again, it's the same thing. We can see the answer directly over here. J, K, and L, M are given. When you Mark the points, draw and extend the line. That is very important. And J is at minus 4, comma, minus 3. Now here, J is minus 4, comma, positive 3. Okay, this one. Sorry, I got confused. And L is, uh, K is 6, that is over here, and minus 3. Yes. And minus 4, and you can see minus 5, that's over here. And lastly, we have 3 and 3, that's over here. So these are the points. They have told JK is a line, join, join J and K, join M and L. And then you need a point where uh, this intersects at P, so this is a point. And a point Q is coplanar, but it is not collinear. You can put it over here, here, anywhere, anywhere. That would be the answer for Q. That's it. Now we have to interpret this drawing. Refer to this figure. How many planes are there? Now here, look at this. How many planes can you see? One is this outer plane. Yes, the entire plane. So all this is included entirely. Okay, plane P, this entire thing. But then you can see this is a pentagon. Don't consider the base. It's already a plane. It's already considered. But you can see this part like this. There are triangles, light triangular planes. One, two, three, four, and five. Two of them can't be visible because they are be behind over here. But how can you easily understand this? This is a pentagon, right? One side. So this is having a plane. Second side, another plane. Third side, another plane. Four, another plane. Five. All the five sides of the pentagon as a plane erected upwards towards A as the height. And the plane P. So five plus one, it's six planes in total. So the answer is six here. And these are the planes. So how do you write the planes? See, one is plane P, yes. Then you write it as D, A, E, E, A, F, F, A, G. You can write in your own, okay? And name four points that are collinear. So now let's see where is collinear points. Now see, this has only two points, so I can't take. Whereas H, I, C, and F, there are four points on the same line, so I'll consider that, H, I, C, F, because there are no other lines with four points on it. And name the intersection of plane GAC. Where is GAC is over here? Okay, GAC, this is the plane. Let me just highlight it. G, G, A, and C. See, this is the plane, okay? Where does it intersect the plane P? It intersects at this line CG, right? So plane and another plane intersects at a line, at line CG or GC. It's the same thing. Last one. 
where does j i this is j i and d c where is d d c is over here now this is a trick question j i and d c or c d do they intersect no they don't intersect they don't even touch i c is touching them both but they are far apart so they never intersect okay they do not appear uh, that these lines intersect no so that's it but other over here this uh, j i will intersect you know the plane p at this point and c d would intersect this plane at these two points that's the thing and now the same thing over here please do try this by yourselves just read the problem and do it after pausing the video i hope you have tried now let's look over here refer to the figure name the three points that are collinear now, which are the points that are collinear? Not over here. Over here we have two points. Over here, two points. Over here, you can see A, D, B are collinear points. They're they're not coplanar, but they're collinear. So it's D, A, B, or A, D, B, or B, D. However, we can write that the same answers. So that's the answers over here. And now we have the example five. You can see it's about a aircraft. A biplane has two main wings that are stacked one above the other. Struts connected the wings and are used for support. See, can you see the struts? These connect the wings and they're, they're like support. Flying wires, these are the flying wires, run diagonally from the main body of the plane to the wings that are in between that of the stacked wings. Okay, so we are there just for, you know, more support. Now, this is wings flying wires, sorry, flying wires and strut. Now we need to complete the statements regarding uh, the biplane. They have told some statements. Each wing models what? Each wing, wing is something like this, right? It'll be, you know, if you see from top view, you can see it's something like this. It's a plane basically, okay? They are, they each model a plane. Now what is, what is the next one? The intersection of strut and a wing. Okay, strut and a wing. Okay, this is important. Now, whenever you have the intersection of a line and a plane, it will be a point over here, isn't it? See, where is it intersecting? These are the points the intersection occurs, right? Because strut is like a straight line. It's a line and this. So, it is at a point, okay? Models a point, basically. And the crossing of two flying wires. Now, here you can see the two flying wires are crossed each other what is happening here this is also a point it intersects at a point so again you can tell it's a point so that's basically the answers the intersection of uh, wing and a strut is a point even two flying wires is a point but the you know each wings are basically planes and that's the end of this lesson i hope you have found it helpful again a quick reminder please do like my video share it with your friends and if you're not yet subscribed do subscribe to it until the next video, happy learning and take care guys.